In a previous video, I looked at what's called the ambiguous case in trigonometry and solved it using the sine law. Um, you can also solve it using the cosine law, and that's what I want to look at here. It's a rather unusual way of going at it, but uh, it's possible to use this formula for the cosine law, uh, even though you know both the angle and the side across from the angle. Um, this is what the setup would look like. We have to start with the 7.5 in order to involve the cos 40 at the end. So 7.5 squared equals these two sides squared added together and that's the rest of it. Now you see you have an x squared here and an x there. So what we're heading for is uh, the quadratic equation. Once I've tidied this up and brought all the terms to the uh, right hand side, we've got this quadratic equation. So I want to solve that using the quadratic formula, which looks like this. The a value is 1, the b is the negative 15.321, and the c is the, the number on the end. And once we put those numbers into the formula, this is what it looks like. Um, I always solve for what's in the square root first. That gives me this number. And when you do this on your calculator, make sure that when you do the 15.321 plus the root, enter that before you divide by 2 so that you don't just divide the, the last part by 2. So enter the whole thing, divide by 2. Also do it with the minus sign. And those are the two numbers. These are the exact numbers that we used in the previous video. And these are the two lengths that we came up with for side x. Now, if you draw this with these two lengths in mind, the 11.5 will look like this. The 3.8 being much shorter will end up having this shape. Uh, to complete this off, if you want to solve for angle z, you'll notice that if you set the sine law up for both of these, and solve for angle z. Uh, since your calculator always gives you an acute angle when you use your sine inverse button, you will get the 59, which is the 59 for this triangle. Uh, if you want the angle for the second triangle, you'd have to subtract the 59 from 180 to get the 121. If you want to avoid doing this, you could always solve for angle x first using the 11.5 in this case and the 3.8 in the other. But I just wanted to show you this because this is uh, just a slightly different way of uh, attempting to solve a triangle where you have what we call the ambiguous case.